All right, guys, I was able to get my hands on a Notice Avalon. Thankfully, Wes and Cullen, the uh, owners of Notice, sent this in for a review. So, this is the green one, obviously. There's a few other colors. You can get it in orange, blue, black, and white. And then you can get it in the stainless steel bezel insert like this, or they have ceramic ones. So I'll put a link in the description to their website so you can check out those other models. They have uh, plenty of pictures that you can scroll through and decide which one's going to work for you. But I want to talk about how much of a home run that this model is. You can see a lot of design and styling cues that are obvious that these guys are big fans of Seiko. There's no hiding that. Um, they, in fact, embraced it. So other than the H-Link bracelet, which is not commonly found on the Seiko divers, this is more of like a, kind of like a Zen or something like that. The rest of it, the you know, just embodies... Um, kind of like what most of us Seiko fans really like in a watch, this, this style case and finishing and um, total interaction. It, it does not house a Seiko movement, though. This is a Myota 9039 movement in it. And then the loom used is the very potent C3X1 loom. So we'll do a loom shot at the end. But there's, this is a no date, obviously, so it is a hack and a wind and then it has a set position and that is that's all you need but i want to talk about the crown real quick because it is you know at the four o'clock where a lot of times the seikos are like not really at four they're like a little offset so this one gets a nice pop the crown action is uh, nice and sharp so it's easy to grab you can see it's a signed crown with their logo and then you have the first pop is your set and your hack so because it's, it's not a ghost date or anything like that, they use the 9039, so it is a no date. So you get a nice smooth action. There is zero crown play. I mean, it just is super tight. So, and then you pop it in, it gets going again, and then you can just screw it right in. It's very well constructed. As a matter of fact, they assemble this, as you can see in the on the box in the background here, they assemble it in Los Angeles. They do it them, in, themselves so they can manage the uh, quality control of it. It has a sapphire domed crystal, a little bit of chamfer on the edge there you can see, and it is coated with anti-reflective coating. So overall, super good package. You can see it has a really nice case back with some information designed and assembled in Los Angeles and it has a cool sword there so um, the size the specs I measure it with my calipers at a 43.2 case width uh, 42 millimeter bezel the lug to lug is a 48.5 thickness including the sapphire crystals 13 millimeter 20 millimeter lug width on this really nicely fitted um, end link here and you can see it does articulate but it doesn't lay completely flat until you get it past that and then it'll lay flat so it's going to be super comfortable bracelet tapers down to an 18 millimeter you have a fold over double pusher and it is it's all milled so it's a little bit more refined than what you would see like on a seiko or you know most seiko divers and you have a ton six micro adjusts there you have screw links on the age links I did not size this, but I will give you a wrist shot real quick on my seven and a quarter. And you can see that it is a sweet spot on a seven and a quarter or anything around that size wrist. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a comparison to an SKX, a Turtle, and even the Sumo, so you guys can see that they nailed the case size. They were not, um, you can tell they weren't guessing here. They weren't figuring things out. They nailed it. So the dimensions and everything are just perfection. The bezel action is, um, I mean, you can see the knurling on the, on the bezel here. It's perfect for traction. And then those cutouts further um, enhance the traction. But the bezel action on it is, like if you're a Seiko fan, you're so used to the a little bit more tinny feel of a Seiko. Um, this thing is way more refined than that. This is more of a precision like tick, if that makes sense. Um, it's way more fun to operate. 
and it's you know precision and it locks in really tight it lines up perfectly i like that they didn't do a raised pip on the insert here it's just a big loom filled triangle that's really well done so let's do some comparisons okay here it is next to an skx you can see it is not much larger than an skx and it is definitely not thicker so if you can wear an skx you can easily wear this I would say it is easily more comfortable size-wise and feel on wrist than a turtle. Um, I am not a huge fan of the Seiko Turtle, the Seiko Turtle. Um, I do like them, but this Avalon like beats the turtle hands down easily as far as comfort and size and uh, feel on wrist. It kind of blurs the line, in my opinion, from the SKX to maybe the Sumo. Um, it's definitely smaller than the Sumo. And I would have to say that the lines on the finishing are maybe a touch sharper on the Sumo than they are on the Notice. Um, but the Notice it definitely is not a slouch when it comes to finishing. It is, it is really well done. Um, I can try to get... I mean, I got a lot of smudge marks on it, but you guys can see the... How, how sharp it is from the brush to the, the polished part. It is, it is well done, it is sharp. Um, you know, the brushing takes a different angle versus off the case versus onto the end link, um, but that's really nitpicking. That is uh, really well done. The fitment on it is tight. It doesn't move around or anything like that. Like if you look at some of the bracelets like on a Seiko or something like that, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's kind of rubbish. So uh, it's, it's definitely far superior than that. So, and then the price point on this guy, they have it on their website listed for $625. So I'm not sure, it might be a little bit less. I, I, you'll have to look at the um, link in the description. I, I, I'm not 100% sure on the pricing. So um, anyway, guys, hopefully this helps you with your decision on it. I can easily say that this is a bargain at $625. I think you, you will have zero regrets with these. Um, these guys knocked it out of the park with this watch. This is a, a really great watch. Um, I'm definitely... Uh, I, I have to do a sell-off soon, but uh, I could easily see adding this, this particular model to my lineup. So you can see there the loom is amazing. Uh, let me grab... What is this? Let me grab the Sumo. You can see it next to the Sumo here, um, and it's that C3X1 loom is like the closest thing you're going to get to what Seiko does with loom. Um, it is right up there with them. So, and these guys just, like I said, it's a total home run. This is going to be um, an amazing seller. As soon as people start to realize how much of a value the Avalon is, uh, I think you're going to be definitely happy with your purchase. So thanks for watching guys and I will see you soon on the next video.